The struggle within, the struggle with sin, the struggle began. Uh-huh. Yeah. Look at this, Romans 6 and 20. Romans 6 and 20. I love this. I love this. As long as you did what you felt like doing, ignoring God, you didn't have to battle with right thinking or right living or right anything for that matter. That's why it's so conflicting. Because when the, when the law starts settling in, then that shows you the wrong. At first, you, had, you were so far away from the line that you didn't even know it was a line. What's wrong with a little bump and grind, R. Kelly said? A lot. Where's part two of that song? Because we justify foolishness for our own excuses. It's a lot wrong with bump and grind with no ring on it, but I don't see nothing. Yeah, it's a lot. It's a lot, it's a lot wrong. We don't fight that thing, though, because everything in our culture tells us that it's right. But do you call that a free life? What did you get out of freedom? Nothing you're proud of or you wouldn't have changed. Where did you get it? Where did it get you? Got you to a dead end. But now that you found, you don't have to listen to sin. You don't have to listen to sin to tell you what to do. And you've discovered the delight of listening to God telling you, what a surprise. A whole healed, put together life. Right now with more and more on the way. I thought I had a few more saved folks than that in here. Ask your neighbor, tell them where did it get you? It didn't get you anywhere, it got you in trouble, it brought you to church, praise God. The right amount of struggle brought you to the right place of Calvary. Had you not gone through that, you'd still be out there thinking it worked. But you ran into the fact that it didn't work and you said, I need help. So now when help is provided for you, don't ignore the help that you need to get you to the next place. How can you continue in sin if sin didn't work? Work hard for sin your whole life, and your pension is death. But God's gift. God's gift is life. God's gift is life. And the struggle within gives me a possibility and an opportunity to win. You mean I can win this struggle? You mean it can be in me but not take over me? You mean that I can suppress and it not let it get the best of me? You mean that that though it'll never go away, I can learn to control it? You mean that, that there's a way, there's a way out of the nonsense? You mean that, that God has a remedy for my human condition? That, 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 that man's misery, God showed up with a, rem, with a remedy in the place of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. You mean that God has a solution that I don't have to keep tripping myself up over the same thing and though it's a struggle or a war that's waging on the inside of me, that the duality or the duplicity of me can be over that. He can take my sins and wash me clean in the blood of the Lamb that all my sins can be washed away and I can get up with a brand new mercy every single day and the old things have passed away and all things you mean you mean to tell me that that the struggle inside I can win yeah look at this look at this verse 24 says this it says what a wretched man I am what a wretched man that I am who he will do rescue me from this body of death look at that in, in the message it says I tried everything where my tried everything folks at up in here I need some victory people up in here I, 
pack where my I tried it my way but my way didn't work I got a witness back there in the corner I tried to do it my way but my I need some honest people in the house today I tried to be slick I tried to be cunning I tried to be crafty I did it my way but my way didn't work I wish I had somebody stand up and declare that your way don't work and his way is perfect watch it watch it I tried everything and nothing helps. I'm at the end of my rope. I'm looking for you today. I'm at the end of my rope. I'm ready to throw up my hands and not quit, but throw up my hands and say, God, I can't do it by myself. This thing is getting the best of me. I need to be free. Oh, wretched man that I am, who can help me, rescue me from the duplicity of me? Look at this. Is there no one who can do anything for me? Desperate, desperate, desperate not for a car, desperate not for a job, desperate not for money, desperate not for stuff, desperate not for prosperity, desperate not for external resources, but desperate, desperate, not even desperate for the trials around me to stop. It is what it is. But God, save me. Desperate for you, rescuing me from me. Don't let me destroy me. Where you at in here? I, I need to get out my own way. I, more than anybody or more than anything, I need you to help me to get out of my own way. I can't stop by myself, but I need you to help me. I need you to stop. I need you to work it out in me. I tried everything. I tried everything. I tried everything. Isn't that the, isn't that the real question? The answer is... The answer is, this is where the shouters can come in at. The answer is, look at that. Tell your neighbor, tell them there is an answer. There's a, oh, oh, tell them there, don't worry about it. Come on, take a moment and encourage somebody for a second. Tell them, put your hand on their shoulder. Tell them, listen, don't worry about it. You're not stuck in this. You're not stuck. Yeah, it won't ever go away, but God will wash your sins away. Yeah, you might have to face it every single day, but thanks be unto God who always calls it up to triumph. Somebody knows that God has some victory in your in your life. I dare you to shout and give your God the greatest shout of victory. He will. Come on! Come on. Look at this. Look at this. We're going we gonna to give him some praise. We're going to give him some praise. Look at this. Who will rescue me from this body of death? Who will rescue me from this? Who will? Who will you ain't, if I never tell nobody everything, I know that I'm that I got I got my own fight, and I got and I got who gonna rescue me? Who gonna help me get free? Thanks be unto God through Jesus Christ our Lord. He says he acted. To set this life of contradictions where I want to serve God with all my heart and mind, but I'm pulled by the influences of sin to do something totally different. Thanks be unto God through our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ who causes me to overcome and gain victory within. So the duplicity of me is wiped away. Yes, I still struggle, but I'm not moved. I don't live by my emotions. Neither do I live by the influences of my flesh. Neither am I a slave to my own self, but I give my life to Christ. And in him, I have freedom. In him, he washed my sins away. In him, I have victory. In him, I don't have to fight for me because he fights for me because the Lord will be strong for me. And when I fall short of his glory, I can just come to him and lay down before him and say, Father, I stretch my hand to you. I sinned. I need help. And through his word, and the application of his word, he can lead me to victory and success. That the devastation that I brought on myself through the choices that I made, I can make new choices in Christ Jesus. And so no longer will I hinder me because I won't access my victory. I didn't deserve it. And I can't believe that he still loved me 
knowing everything he knows about me. But God say, when you come to me, I got your sin. I took care of that. But you got to come to me. The struggle within is a struggle you can win. If you hear me today, lift your hands and give God a shout of praise. Come on. It's a revolution.